Professor Herman Pazinga says the 23 were selected through a rigorous criteria by historians and researchers to include a wide variety of artifacts which originated from the Ovaherero, Ovambo, Nama, Tamara Nukwen, San and Bukushu ethnic groups. Cooperation always starts with returns, but it does not end with returns. The returns are just the beginning. We have a larger collection of Namibian belongings, of cultural heritage from Namibia, let's say, in Berlin, in other museums in Germany, I suppose in other museums in Europe. And this cooperation to make it work, to make it, to use it, to, to, that we are really able to use it in the best possible way, that we confront your expectations and that we also have benefits from that. Because we also feel better if we can things give back. It is understood that six of the 23 artifacts may originate from the 1904-1908 genocide. The Deputy Director of Natural Heritage and Cultural Programs in the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Boyson Gondo, would not confirm or deny such suspicions, saying it's premature to assume such facts pending the outcome of the research. At the end of the day, we'll have a clearer answer after having engaged communities, stakeholders and partners in this research to establish uh, those linkages. So this is just the beginning. Uh, I'm sure at the end of the project, we will have a better idea on how these uh, artifacts were taken, from where, from which context, under what circumstances. All those questions will become clearer after this provenance research. Meanwhile, co-leader of Project Berlin, Julia Benta, also revealed that there are approximately 12,000 such artifacts of Namibia's colonial origin in Germany, Switzerland and Austria. Bente says the return of the 23 artifacts signifies willingness to join hands with locals to facilitate the return of the remaining artifacts. We were very fortunate that we could um, reconstruct the personality of one of the people who might have gifted a doll that you might have mentioned earlier, which was Queen Olugondo from the Ondonga Kingdom. And he, uh, she gifted a doll, a beautifully adorned doll, to a Finnish missionary daughter, Anna Rautanen, in 1900. And it's a story of a female friendship between an African and a Namibian queen and a Finnish missionary. And then, you know, how does it end up in Berlin, in the collection in Berlin? Because she married a German missionary and then via the German missionary it was sold to the museum in Berlin. There are also plans to set up a fashion museum in Oshuarongo for creatives to exploit the rich heritage of such artifacts in modern designs. Kaipa Herwekanji, NBC News, Vinduk.